everyone welcome back to my channel so today i thought i'd do a flip through of ron doll's marvelous coloring book adventure and this is like a cream cover with like gold foiling and a bit of purple on the top there and this is the back and this is done by penguin publishing This book has a flap on the inside, which is lovely. And here's the title page. No, it's puffing, not penguins, puffing. It's a bit confusing. And it says penguin here. I, I don't know. It's one of them too. It says puffin books here and then it says penguin. So I'm guessing. It's both of them. And it's copyright information here. And then this book belongs to the page. And it tells you a bit about the books that he's done. And it says, Step into a world where dreams are collected in jars. A fantastic box and bamboozle the meanest of farmers and a river of chocolate is just a golden ticket away add colour to these marvellous stories from imagination of rondol the world's number one storyteller are you ready for the adventure so you have these jars here and then we go straight into willy wonka this is not what it can be if you want it to be Charlie and Chocolate Factory. This is probably Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory. And it says Charlie and Chocolate Factory. I got it completely wrong. So it does say the book name here and like the scene, like what it's about. So this is Charlie and Chocolate Factory. And you've got this candy here. And you have this one. I think this is meant to be like the world. It's very zen doodly as you guys can tell. And it is technically single sided. The paper is lovely and thick. The line art is like a medium line art. It's not so thick but it's not so thin. But it is very zen doodly. And this one here is Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. Same one here, I think. Yeah. So that's like a couple of um, pictures of each book. I like that one because it's like just planets and you can test your galaxy background if you really want to on here. This one is from Danny the Champion of the World. I remember reading some of these when I was little. It just gives you back like good memories and that was Danny Champion as well as well. And I think this one is as well. Yes, this one is as well. And I like it that some of them have like a black background so you don't have to colour in the background. You don't have to colour in the same as the images. You can colour in whatever colour you want it to be. That one is the enormous crocodile. This one's the BFG, I can tell because that one's so small and then he's so big. And I know that her name's Sophie, which is like the best. <laughs> Whenever I hear my name in like a story or like a movie, I'm like, yes, I'm happy. That's also the BFG and this one is probably the same. Yeah, this one's the BFG as well. This one is from the enormous crocodile i don't get why them that page and the um, other one wasn't together but there you go this one is the enormous crocodile as well oh look at the turtles that's cute this one's from s o tropes 
I want to say. Never heard of that one, by the way, guys. I know from some of you are like, oh my. But, yeah, I've never heard that one before. And that one's the same. And this one was the same. This one is from Fantastic Mr. Fox. You can see some food and like you got some animals, some actual scenes. It's a bit of everything in this book. This one is from George Marvelous Machine. It's very Zandoodly and Paisley, this one. Which I'm not a big fan of, but if I want to come out my comfort zone and be a bit more adventurous, then this book is actually the like perfect one. So you get quite a few pictures in this book to be honest. This is the giraffe and the Pelly and me. I used to love this book when I was a kid. Absolutely love it. I love that it's realistic as well. It's not like how it was in the book. Because I used to have like a giant like Rondal book of like all the classics. This one's like a stained glass picture, which is good. Because I can test like your shaving of um, stained glass. This one's James and the Giant Peach because of the Giant Peach. Like you don't have to do all these little bits here and that. You can just colour it all in one colour if you want to. That's a big peach. <laughs> but like you have buildings as well. So if you want for like, like me where I don't really colour in buildings, this page is good for stepping out my comfort zone. That one's like a geometric pattern, but with a finger. <laughs> That's really cool, that I like that. And that one's from the Magic Finger. I like this one where it's got birds inside of a bird. I like that a lot. And that one is from the Magic Finger as well. And this one probably as well. Yeah, that one's from the Magic Finger as well. I like this cake. I'd like this from a birthday, this cake. If you guys would like to do a body colour or you'd like me to do a colour and chat from this book, just comment down below or DM me on Instagram and I will definitely do that. That one's from Matilda. So you could, if you wanted to, uh, look up the actual reference from the movie or something and colour it in the same colour. Like this one is Matilda. So you can colour in this building the same as Matilda's house. If I remember it's yellow, but I can't remember the roof, but I remember the house being like a bright yellow and I was like, who wants to live in that house? How many books? Now this one is a detailed page, but if you like your patterns, this will be a good page. That's one as well. This one's from the twits. I have to read that twice. <laughs> they got all like different balloons with different designs on them, which I like because I just like doing that. And then you got a picture that's upside down, which is meant to be upside down. It's not an error, guys. That is actually what the image is meant to be look like. So that's quite unusual and quite cool. And then you got another balloon, and that is from the Switch as well. And so is that one. This one's really detailed. Your gel pens would be perfect for this. I don't know why it's screaming glitter at me. Like gel pen glitter at me. This is from The Witches. This is probably one of my favourite movies. The old one. Not the new one. I like the old one. That's 
Because I think that's Bruno, if I remember his name. I think it was Bruno. Can't remember the child's name. This one is Revelyn Rhymes, Little Red Rhyme Hood and the Wolf. That's really detailed, but that'll be good for like, it's a little bit like, oh, watercolour like looking line art in the background there. So if you go with watercolour, maybe you could like make this whole page like a watercolour. On escape, which will be really cool. This one is Jack and the Beanstalk. That'll be really good because you colour it all in different shades of green. That'll be really fun to do that. This one is from Cinderella. And you have a flap at the end here. And that is the end of that book. And that was Ron Doll's Marvelous Colouring Book Adventure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and follow my Facebook group page on the description down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!